Obviously, last night, not the result uh, you were looking for. In looking back on the game last night, um, where did things kind of uh, go wrong, if you will? Well, I, I think it certainly came down to what we had talked about in the morning and prior to the game. You know, special teams was going to play a huge factor in the game only because they had the second best power play and they, uh, you know, as, as I thought our PK was, was sharper, but they still got one goal and uh, our, P, our power play, uh, conversely, was not very good last night. You know, we weren't sharp and Anytime you have a five on three for a minute of 48 and don't score, uh, that's tough. You know, you, you usually don't win the hockey game. And uh, on top of that, to give up a shorty, uh, you know, that's really the, the hockey game. I mean, I thought we did some good things five on five at times. And our, uh, we talked about controlling the neutral zone. So I thought the neutral zone four check was good. And uh, our transitional play could have been a little bit better. Um, but, you know, overall, uh, it really came down to the, to the special teams play because I thought both goalies were sharp and made, uh, made key saves at important times. We talked about it a little bit through the week and uh, before the game yesterday. Do you feel like the uh, off day, if you will, or no game day on Wednesday uh, played into things in terms of the routine? Well, I, I think in terms of sharpness it did, you know, and it's, it's easy, you know, to say that now. But, uh, you know, as a coach, I was certainly worried about the rhythm of the team uh, all week because, you know, you're on a four-game uh, four point streak. You know, you sweep the week last week and, and you're in rhythm, right? And uh, you're normally re ready for that Wednesday, Friday, Saturday game. And uh, we we try to mimic Wednesday as a, a real tough practice uh, to give it a little bit of a game day uh, effort or, or at least exertion. And uh, but uh, you know Thursday wasn't as sharp with, uh, with the puck, uh, and last night was at times you know a little bit off. You know specifically our go-to skill guys, and um, you know when your depth scoring is not quite where you want it to be in terms of the the, the number of bodies, and you know when you start looking at Robbie and Sharty and Luch, you know all of a sudden. That's that's three, you know, top six forwards. So if all of a sudden, you know, Ridley Greg's line's not going, maybe they're picking up the slack. So uh, that certainly hurts your scoring. And uh, consequently, you know, you only get one goal last night. And, and that's uh, you, certainly something you can contribute to. Uh, last week you talked about the respect you had for the Moose, the structure that they play with. You scored six goals on, on 19 shots last time you faced them. How do you kind of replicate that uh, success? Well, hopefully their goaltending is uh, not sharp. You know, uh, you know, if you look at last, I don't think it was a 6-1 hockey game. You know, uh, home come off, uh, you know, 37 uh, shot after the night before in Laval, and they traveled, and, um, you know, he played a back-to-back -back game. Not that that, you know, was a reason for it, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, there was maybe some goals he wanted back. But uh, I thought, you know, they outchanced us last week, and uh, they are a team that's uh, very competitive for a reason, and the record is uh, one of the best in the Western Conference for a reason. So, uh, you know, we're going to need to be sharper tonight uh, in terms of our overall play because they do come at you pretty hard, and uh, they do fight for, for, for spaces, and, uh, you know, 50-50 battles will certainly be a, a key tonight. Now, can our offense replicate the last week you know you hope so um, but we'll certainly need some execution on our power play and uh, I think get a little bit more net presence you know when you look at the chances last night I think we had them at 20 us at 21 on them at 20 now 20 giving up 20 is way too much in my opinion but generating 21 was good but I just I felt that some of the chances we had uh, even though they're in the grade 8 territory we just didn't have enough net presence so that's something we'll talk to the guys about here today. Uh, Jacob Larson uh, he's been he's been great for you lately are you kind of seeing what you what you thought you would get from him when you signed him this offseason yeah I think he had another strong game last night you know and he's a he's a, a minutes muncher with with good puck moving ability and um, you know, it's never been a real offensive threat in terms of point totals, but you know, all of a sudden he's got six or seven points with us, and I do feel they've come most recently. And uh, we're going to get him, you know, with a going for 11 7 tonight. Uh, we're going to uh, get him on the second power play, and uh, we've been fighting here quite a bit the last couple of weeks to find some, uh, some chemistry on that second unit because, as we've seen last night, with the top unit off, uh, you know, you're hoping to get some secondary scoring from your, your second power play, and we haven't been able to get that very very much so uh, we're going to tweak that unit tonight and uh, Larson will see some time. 
with head coach Troy Mann for a couple more minutes. Uh, who comes out if uh, you go 11-7 tonight? Yeah, we're going to take Carroll out and uh, go 11-7. You know, not that Bush did a, a poor job up the middle, but, uh, you know, center ice positions, uh, the depth there is not quite where uh, we need it to be yet with some injuries and obviously some, some guys hurt in, in Ottawa as well. So uh, for us, we're just going to rotate the three centers tonight and go 11. And I think it's important to keep Jack Doherty involved. You know, he didn't play last week. And with only 7D, you know, it's, it's, it's normal for a coach to want to get the 7th D in. And uh, you know what? He's played well. You know, he's played 10 games. He's a plus player for us and has been a big part of our team for years. And, and you know, is also a, a leader in the locker room, even though he may be on a PTO. So uh, that was the move we, we decided to make. And, uh, you know, that'll give Larson some power play time. And, and JD is always good on the penalty kill. So, uh, you know, Belzy usually does a good job of managing the 7D. And uh, it'll just mean a little bit more ice time for, for Betsy and Castles and, and ultimately Ridley Gregg as well. Uh, how about a net? Uh, not an overly busy night and not a poor performance either from Mad Sogard yesterday. Yeah, we're going to go back with Sogi. You know, two game week, you know, and uh, he wants to go and he's talked to us, uh, Petey and I, last week about playing all three games. And as we mentioned earlier uh, in the week, I think Mando. Uh, was the right move to get him in there last Saturday and uh, for tonight uh, we want to go back to Sogard you know it's an important game to try and get the split and if you look at last night much similar to our grade A's you know yeah did he make some key saves but I felt some of their grade A's were uh, were not high end as well you know so uh, the workload I think was was relatively solid last night but not extremely bad where we need to go back to Mando. Uh, before we get into the keys to the game, a strange uh, and unfortunate situation for the Moose in Toronto last night, having their game postponed after uh, a period. Obviously, we don't have details on that, but um, do you think that plays into to things at all, uh, coming off a situation like that for them? Uh, probably not. I, you know, I, It's hard to say because you don't know exactly what took place, but... Uh, you know, when I heard the the game was delayed, you know, I said to the the coaches after the during the intermission, well, either two things have happened: they, they, they someone's gotten injured, uh, or there's been a, a an ice problem. You know, because that's usually how how games get delayed. So, uh, and then we heard after the game that there was a, an unfortunate uh, moment in the stands, and you know, hopefully everything's okay there, and you know, the moose. Uh, um, you know, I'm sure they're going to be ready. You know, their, their road trip has been uh, probably average at best for them in terms of where they're at in the standings, and I'm sure they'll want to finish off their road trip uh, on a good note. Now, again, uh, with them flying in and, and flying out, uh, do they finish the game tomorrow or Monday? You know, I'm not quite sure. I haven't heard anything of that nature, but, uh, you know, for us, we just got to focus on our game, and, um, you know, in my experience playing against Manitoba over the years, they'll be ready to play. And uh, where is the focus tonight in terms of getting back on track? Well, I think, again, the 50-50 battles, you know, net presence, you know, uh, again, another team that comes pretty hard on the forecheck. Um, you know, I thought overall the forecheck from their perspective is probably as strong as a Syracuse in our division. So, uh, you know, getting our support back and, and helping our defense so, so we can ultimately get out of the zone uh, is going to be a key. And, uh, again, our power play has got to create momentum for us, you know, and I, I didn't think it did that at all last night. Um, and hopefully, you know, our PK, we've kind of tweaked our system a little bit, and I thought at times it looked good last night, so we just got to get a little bit more rhythm on that to, to hopefully shut their power play down as well. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. Okay, thanks, guys.